Now let's write the code for our fortune telling machine. To do that, I'm going to open up a browser to matecode.com, uh, which will take you to our landing page. When you get here, go ahead and click on the Circuit Playground Express card. That's the round board right in the middle there. And you'll get taken to the editor. Once you're here, click on New Project to open up a brand new project. Now one thing that's very cool we've just added as a feature is the green screen option in Circuit Playground Express. Go to the settings menu and select green screen on. This will give you the option to just have a green background or use one of the built-in cameras. So I'm gonna select the front camera here. Now you can see me, hello everyone. Um, all right, so the first thing we need to do for our fortune teller uh, code is trigger it on, um, on shake when we shake it. So I actually don't need this forever block, so I'm going to go ahead and drag it over to my toolbox to delete it. And I'm going to click on my input toolbox drawer and find that on shake block here. Go ahead and drag and drop this onto the workspace. The second thing we need to do is set a variable that will hold our random number that we select. So to do that, I'm going to click on this variables toolbox drawer here and select make a variable. And go ahead and give it a name. I'm just going to call mine pick. And then you'll notice that you get these variable blocks populated here. Grab a set variable block, the second one down, and drag and drop it into your on shake block. So we're going to set this variable to a random number. And to do that, I'm going to click on my math toolbox drawer, scroll down, and you'll see a pick random number here. Go ahead and drag and drop this pick random block and drop it into the set variable slot. Now this will pick a random number between a minimum and a maximum value. Now there are 10 NeoPixel lights on our Circuit Playground Express board. So we're going to select 0 through 9, where 0 is actually the first light on our board. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is play some sounds. So I'm going to click on my music toolbox drawer and grab this play sound block and drop it into my on shake block here. Now this play sound block uh, gives you the option of playing some built-in sounds. The default one is power up, but you can select uh, magic wand or siren or whichever default sound you want. Uh, then we're going to play an animation. So I'm going to open up my light toolbox drawer, grab this show animation block, and drag and drop it into my on shake block. Now using the drop down, you can see we've got several different animations to choose from. Um, you can choose the comet animation or sparkle. Uh, I'm going to keep the default rainbow animation since um, that's my favorite. All right, we're also going to set the duration that this animation plays. So the default duration is it will play for 500 milliseconds or half a second, but in this case we want to play our animation for a little bit longer, so I'm going to select two seconds. All right, so now we've got our random number variable generated. We've got some drum roll uh, suspense with the sounds and the animation. Now it's time to actually display the value that we picked. So the first thing we want to do is clear all of the NeoPixels. So I'm going to select the light toolbox drawer, scroll all the way to the bottom to the more category, and you'll find this clear block here. Go ahead and drag and drop this onto our workspace to clear all the lights. And then we're going to open up the light toolbox drawer again, uh, scroll to the bottom and the more category again, and you'll see a block that says set pixel color at a certain position to a certain color. So go ahead and grab this block and drop it here. Now the position that we want the light to light up in with is going to be set in our pick variable. So open up your variables toolbox drawer and find that pick block and go ahead and drag and drop that pick variable block into this slot here. Now this will be a number, a random number between 0 and 9. And you can also set the light color that um, your board turns to a different color. So I'm going to select purple. All right, so this is, this is our code and once we're done we can go ahead and click this download button here 
and um, our program will be saved as a .uf2 file. And depending on what browser you're in, it's going to prompt you uh, to do something with this downloaded file. I'm in Edge, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Save As. And I'm going to save my program file onto my CPlay boot drive um, in my file explorer here. So you'll notice it uh, pops up as a D drive here, and I'm going to click Save. And then my file has been downloaded um, onto my Circuit Playground Express. Um, and then you can see it here. Now when I shake it, it's going to play that rainbow animation and it's going to select a color, some random uh, uh, light around the board, and it's going to set that color to purple. So again, it plays that animation, sound, and selects the color for me. So this is my uh, fortune teller machine at work.